Welcome back to Done With Depression. It's trip seven, day one. This is plan C, the parachute, and it's more or less working. Uh, there's a gap here at the bottom, as you can see. But besides that, it's working. It's a 24 foot parachute. And so I figured with a 16 foot dome, that would be enough to go all the way down. But I probably should have gotten the 32 foot one. And that way it would have a little extra room on the bottom as well for the brick. But this might be a summer parachute. So it'll still have air going through it and have good circulation and won't overheat. And then maybe I can get the bigger one and throw that over the top in the winter and then it'll be double layered. But for now, I'm glad that I just have something up there. It wasn't too difficult to put back up there. And I'm glad I just have something to protect my little dome for right now. Everything else is looking good. We didn't lose any plants this time and they're all looking great. Let's go check out the spinach. Over here, my spinach seems to be doing pretty good. It grew a lot from last time. We did have one little guy die and another one looks like he might not have got enough water, but they're looking pretty healthy right now. And last I have my basil. It's doing pretty good. It started to go to flower a lot, so I'm gonna need to trim it and snip some of the flowers off and it should be regrowing here pretty soon. Definitely feeling kind of down right now. Uh, one thing that I was doing when I was meditating is to focus on healing. And when I focus on healing, it kind of came to me that in order for myself to heal, I have to wrong the rights that I had done in my past. And so I've been focusing on healing a lot and through that, certain names and situations and things that happened in my past have come up and I've made every possible attempt to contact those people and apologize and let them know that they were an important part of my life. So some of those um, conversations went really well. Um, person said oh that was in the past we were just kids we didn't really know what we were doing and some have been a little tougher and the most recent one I knew was going to be the hardest one and I did it but I guess I wasn't quite ready for it or I don't know if it wasn't the reaction I thought I was going to get but just didn't go so well. So I've been thinking about that a lot, it's just playing over in my head and trying not to ignore it because that's how things build up and everything gets worse. So trying to notice the feelings that I'm having, try and pinpoint why I'm having those feelings and work through it from there. It's either the worst time to be in the woods alone or the best time to be in the woods alone. Definitely left to your thoughts. And one thing that used to happen to me before I got help was I would have reoccurring intrusive thoughts where things would just swirl around in my head over and over and over again. It was the same thing and I wouldn't be able to get rid of it. I wouldn't be able to understand it. So now, starting to have the thoughts rolling over and over again, but I think I'm more able to understand it and interpret it and see what, what's going on in my head. Just feel so much guilt for what I did to this person. It happened over 12 years ago and she said it still affects her to this day. And that's really hard to swallow. 
something that you did 12 years ago when you didn't know what you were really doing and you weren't mature enough to make good decisions is still impacting someone today as an adult. And you just have to live with that. I think part of the problem is I haven't forgiven myself. And if you haven't forgiven yourself, it's just stuck in there, just spinning around and around. You're just stuck in it. I guess I also have to come to terms with the fact that I lost this person forever. I haven't had contact with them for a long time now, but I've always searched for this person and just getting in contact again, just hoping that not a relationship is there, but complete nothing is just really hard when you've been looking for them for a long time and then they just tell you that you can't be in their life at all. It's definitely mixed feelings talking to the person again and then having them tell you that you've done so much harm so long ago that even to this day, they're still hurting and they can't have you even be in their lives at all. Not even any sort of conversation. So I think I'm dealing with that too. <laughs>